Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is September 9th, and thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Froggy Style Fishing. And today, it's going to be a good episode because I'm out here with my little brother, Chad. What's up, guys? Uh, today, we're going to be fishing, uh, where are we at? Hampton Lakes, right? Hampton Lakes. I've never been here. Have you ever been out on the kayak fishing on it? No. No? So, this is going to be both of our first times kayaking this place, fishing it. Uh, it's huge actually there is uh, big island sets like giant ones all over the place back there and it's a little windy up here in the front but the whole back looks nice and glassy with all them trees blocking the wind so we're gonna hop on the yak see if we can't go catch some bass it's uh, it's gonna be about 80 at the high dropping down into the 77 75 range water temperatures probably around the same about 60 or i'm sorry six, uh, 75 to 78 degrees i'm going to be starting out with a little jerk bait action see if i can't wrangle something up well, let's quit yapping and get to yakking chad just blowing right by snow shovel yakking what's it say on the side of that thing i don't know don't even ask <laughs> He's using a little snow shovel as a paddle. Works perfect though. It's actually like... It's actually, it's actually a normal size snow shovel. Yeah, that's... You cut it, oh, you cut it in you half it to make it a paddle? paddle? That thing's like perfect. Someone stole a paddle, so you gotta make do, you know? Improvise. That's great. So, we're shifting into the afternoon. They probably fed heavy morning during the overcast. They're gonna start falling back to cover. So we want to hit maybe like these shaded shallow reed edges, things like this. There's one. Oh. Use him as a bait. Tiny little pickerel. Can't even believe he ate that worm. There's a good one. Oh, he's like. Did I kill him? I like, broke his neck when I hooked him. He didn't fight at all. He just laid, turned over. Nice. Long, skinny one. First bass, though. That's good. I had a feeling they'd be here right at this intersection. swimming at me. Oh, a freaking tooth critter. Alright, get out of my boot. Dang. Whew. Man, it's actually kind of hot out here. I wasn't expecting it to be like this. Uh, kind of ran out of water already. Chad's over there having time in his life. Look at him. Tucked up under a tree, skipping that jig around. Caught like two or three bass, two pickerel. Gonna keep grinding them though, this place is huge. We still haven't even touched it yet. There's a whole nother, behind this bank, there's a whole nother, whole nother lake back there. We gotta go all the way back down and around. So I'll see ya on the other side. Well, I just caught another one coming up this bank on the worm, but the camera wasn't on. Oops. But I think this is gonna be a good spot. It's actually a deep edge. Got all this vegetation. Keep skipping this worm. Oh. 
Oh, slurp. Nah. It's a ton of these, like, eight inch pickerel. There's one there. There's one. Another pickerel. There's one. No, another pickerel. Oh yeah, that's a bass. Oh, he's got some spunk on him. He's diving. I seen him shake that lily pad. Yeah, deeper water, like you said. Ouch, that one hurt. Boom, that's probably the best one I caught all day. Definitely. Thickest, good shoulders. Good bite, bud. That's a good one. Yeah. This is the biggest hood of the day, for sure. Oh yeah. He's dogging me out. I haven't even seen him yet. Yeah. He tried to. I put him in the water. Oh yeah, he's good. Oh! Took a bad angle and spit it. Seen him tail slap it. Unbelievable. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up. I am beat. Man, we've been out here for over six hours. My back is on fire. Got the yak loaded up, and I'm gonna head on home. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you liked the video. Appreciate the views, and I'll see you in the next one.